Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of geometry, specifically how we can describe three dimensional shapes, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So you see on the screen here we have five different shapes, and we're going to describe them using geometric language. And I've used, I've written our three terms that we're going to use down here faces, edges, and vertices. So let me explain what these things are. We'll start with our rectangular prism. So this first right there, I'll just put a little RP, that's going to represent our rectangular prism. So our first item that we're going to look for are the faces. Faces are flat surfaces that have straight sides and it is going to be important for us to know that it has to be flat and straight. So a rectangular prism has the same number of faces, edges, and vertices as a cube. It's just stretched out a little bit more. Its sides have rectangles, whereas a cube is all squares. But you can tell this is a prism because it has two sides right there. One, and then I'm shading in the bottom. See those two faces right there? Those are always going to be parallel with each other, and those are always going to be the same shape. In this case, they look like the rectangles. And then the other four sides, or the other four faces, are always going to be parallelograms. So I've got this one on the left side. I've got this one on the right side. So I've, I've got four faces so far. And then I've got one in the back. And it's kind of hard to see, but I'll bring this one up here in the front. So a rectangular prism and a cube, they both have six faces. So let's switch to red here, and let's see if we can figure out how many edges we have. Edges are where two faces meet. So I'm going to outline the front of our rectangular prism that's got four edges. Here's the back, five, six, seven, eight. So I've got the four in the front, the four in the back. All I'm missing are the few on the top that I haven't hit. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So a rectangular prism and a cube, they both have 12 edges. And then vertices, as you can see, are worth three or more. A pyramid might have more than three. That's where the, the three or more edges meet. So sometimes we'll just call them corners. One, two, three, four on the top. One, two, three, four on the bottom. So that makes for eight vertices. Now this next shape is a triangular prism because as we can see, we're going to shade in the triangular bases here. We've got one, two faces that are triangles. So in our triangular prism, we've got two triangle faces, and then the other three are going to be rectangles. So there's this one on the bottom, there's this one in the back, and we've almost shaded everything in, but we haven't done the front one. So this front one right here. So it's a total of five faces, two are triangles, and three are rectangles. And then switching over to red, we can outline our edges where the faces meet. I've got one, two, three, triangle front, one, two, three, the triangle in the back, so that's six. And I just need the rectangles connecting them, seven, eight, nine. So it has nine edges. Then if our vertices, we're just going to circle those are our corners, three in the front, three in the back. So that would be six vertices. So that's how we can describe a rectangular prism and a triangular prism. Now this is where things get a little bit strange. We have a cone right here and you see the very bottom is a circular base and we're going to call that a flat surface. Some people like to call that a face but according to the definition that we have here a face is a flat surface with a straight side and that's got curved sides. So we're going to call that a flat surface or sometimes you'll see it called a base, but not necessarily a face. That's different. And if you have no faces, then you cannot have any edges. So this right here is not necessarily an edge. It's just the side of our flat surface. And then this big circular part, that's going to be the, our curved circuit, surface. And then a lot of people up here will call this a vertex. That's a singular form of vertices. Even though we don't have any edges, most people will call that a vertex. That's why it's strange. Here's our cylinder, and our cylinder is going to be just like our cone. It's going to have two flat surfaces, our two bases here, so two flat surfaces, and this can have one big curved surface, and that goes all the way around. It's actually a rectangle if you undo it. And then we finally have our sphere, and it is just one big curved surface. 